So what do we have here, Duncan? We have here a DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone. And this is what we've been using on the island this year. So we introduced drones to the island last year um, for the first time. And this year we had, we were fortunate to get the um, thermal drone, which is an amazing bit of kit. How much is one of these things worth? Around about five grand for this setup. Some context. The island, Calf of Man, Irish Sea, located just off the southern tip of the Isle of Man. The island is owned by Manx National Heritage and run in partnership by the Manx Wildlife Trust. Extending approximately 600 acres, it is one of Great Britain's bird observatories and nature hotspots, possessing spectacular scenery and habitat for wildlife. The seas surrounding the calf are protected and are teeming with life, rated as some of the best dive sites in the world. The calf also has plenty of rocky shores and coves, making it the perfect location to find our species of interest, seals. So where does the drone come in? Well, in September, when pupping season begins, two seal surveyors join the team of wardens on the calf of man. Their job to monitor populations and pups by carrying out daily surveys, which enable us to understand pupping success rates, general health and population dynamics. As well as counting the number of births, recording the developmental stage of each pup and monitoring mortality rate, each adult seal and pup are also photographed for identification purposes using an ever-growing catalogue. Just like our fingerprints, seals have a unique fur pattern and so, for example, returning females can be identified by looking at their fur. This new thermal drone has been groundbreaking in terms of research and data collection, and here's how. So the, the zoom capability on this is amazing, absolutely amazing, which enables us for surveying, which is really important to be able to keep our distance. So we can operate at a much higher elevation with the drone than we can with previous drones that we've used. So we're operating much higher up and using the zoom to zoom right in and get really good 4K images for identification because we need to get that pelage, that fur pattern to be able to ID the females um, to know who's on the island and um, who's returning basically. And it's pretty sturdy isn't it? In most weathers you can fly yeah, this? Yeah you can fly up to about um, 30 mile an hour winds and it's got a range of about 15 kilometers. Um, so on an, on an island here, that's only a mile and a half wide by a mile long. Um, we can do a whole island survey on a number of batteries, but we can do the whole island by drone alone, which is absolutely fantastic, which is the first time we've been able to do that. Amazing. And battery life wise, how long does it last for? Each battery will last around 30 minutes. Um, in good conditions. If it's in strong wind, um, then it's got to work harder, so slightly less, but around about 30 minutes per flight. So we're at South Harbour, which is one of our pupping sites, and we've actually got a pup just behind us here. So this is obviously quite an accessible site, Duncan, isn't it? But generally a lot of the calf and a lot of the pupping sites aren't accessible, which is why this is so revelationary, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool because um, a lot of the coves and the sea caves particularly, we cannot get any eye view from ground level. So with long lens, traditionally how, how we used to survey before the drones came in. Um, and now we can go out to sea, drop down and look right into the cave. And the thermal gives us the capability of seeing who's in there from a distance. So we can identify pups, the difference between pups and adults, um, between males and females, whether there's any injuries and general welfare checks just on the thermal alone which is pretty incredible, really. And also it's safer for the handler, so for you guys as well, because you're not having to lean off cliffs, you can do it from a safe distance Absolutely. and minimises disturbance and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, it's revolutionised it, really. Um, and in terrains like this, where you have got a lot of steep cliffs and a lot of access, observation points were few and far between, really. Um, and it's just extended it massively. And what it enables us to do a couple of times is um, identify where there's proof or life proof of life so you can if we, we know a particular mum and a pup is in a cave or in a remote area we can keep going check back with them and with long lenses you get to see two animals on the rocks but with the thermal drones it enables you to tell whether they're still kind of 
functioning or not. And there's been a number of them. We've had quite a high mortality this year compared to normal. Um, so we've used a drone quite a lot to be able to confirm that whether um, a pup is alive or not. And you said that you first started using drones two years ago, but it didn't have the thermal ability. So have you noticed an increase in numbers? Obviously there might be more seals around, but are you picking up more seals? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really enabled us to really kind of improve our capability of data collection because we're getting more seals generally. With the whole island camps, we're, we're, we're now being able to analyze um, the number of females, the number of breeding, population on the island, the number of juveniles and pups, which you can't do solely with normal drones. The thermal gives us the capability of seeing that on, on the wider mm. picture, which is absolutely fab. So you're and just getting more in-depth data, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, Way better, better quality data, more accurate data. Yeah. We're seeing more se seals overall, so we're getting a more accurate understanding of what the population dynamics are around the island. But also from the breeding point of view, we're not missing any pups because we know that we can see them wherever they are. Even in giving example, there's pups that like to go hide underneath massive rocks. Now we know from the thermal signature that there's something under that rock, because it gives a glow. So we can then reposition the drone to get lower down to then investigate at a, at a safe distance. And then all we need to do is see the kind of the tail end of that pup and we've got a confirmation that the pup's there and it's alive. So it's amazing. We could never do that before. Game changer. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant, thank you. No worries.